foundation of what we buy together and of how we help free the millions of other disabled folks who have not yet come out will be political. And the philosophy that we have developed together, which is a fundamental positive belief that everyone has a future. We recognized very early that the number one precept of independent living had to be that we had to teach ourselves how to fight. We had to learn the rules of rehabilitation, of welfare. We had to learn them better than the agencies knew them. All the programs that have been set up really aren't the most important factors. They help us survive, but when we help each other, when we model for each other, when we recognize that peer counseling, peer modeling, the kinds of things that we can do to together, the kind of positive attitudes that we've developed, and the kind of future that we're beginning to develop for all of, all of us and the folks that are going to come along, that's the most important thing. few of us got a whole lot without having real grassroots organization. Uh, that we don't have the organization yet to hold what we've won over these last few years. And uh, I've redoubled my effort, and I know that a lot of you have, to go out and involve more people. I urge you as leaders in the movement to be leaders in the political movement as well. To hold our political leaders accountable. Let's support those folks that have gone out front for us. If we're going to turn this thing around, we're going to have to get our people out to vote. And we're going to have to educate them. And we're going to have to figure out how, what kinds of pa voting patterns they have. Not just register them, but educate them, and then vote in blocks, and begin to make some difference in elections. And that's possible now. May not have been so much in the past. There's a lot of consciousness now. And I really believe that we can win some elections for folks. When there's maximum danger, when our programs are in the most jeopardy, there's also maximum opportunity to make changes in them, to fight for what we know we need, uh, to make them more responsible to the needs of our people. Uh, and let's take advantage of that. Let's figure out some alternatives. Let's not just be naysayers. We're going to develop leadership that has a fundamental difference, and that is it's inclusive. It believes in people and in our strengths together, and that we are going to change our society, and that that severely and profoundly disabled person is going to come back into our community, and when they do, there'll be an independent living center there ready to help them find housing. They help them learn how to fight for themselves and then to join us.